Hey, it's Damon from Let's Tiki.com. Here we are at the Aloft in Chicago, getting ready to go on the Chicago area Tiki Tour. We'll be boarding the buses shortly, and we're going to take a tour of a whole bunch of the best Tiki places in the Chicago area. So, come join us. As we boarded the bus, we were greeted by our guide, Java, from the Bachelor Pad. And while the first bus drink was poured, he gave us a few words of wisdom. They actually wrote in my notes, please pace yourself, because we don't have the school sawdust stuff in the show. So please, be careful. And then we were off. Our first bus drink was the Derby Daiquiri. It was sure entertaining to watch them try and mix and serve cocktails while we were in motion. And it wasn't long before we arrived at stop number one, the Malahini Terrace. How's the chicken? Chicken? Yeah. Chicken? How's the chicken? <laughs> Is it good? It's good. Alright. Hey everyone, we just went to the Mahini Terrace. They got totally overrun. They had some good egg rolls, but unfortunately we were there for over an hour and didn't get a drink. So, back on the bus for more fun. On the bus in between stops, we were served a number of different bus drinks. And they gave away fabulous tiki prizes. Hey everyone, we're at stop number two, Tong's Tiki Hut. We just had a great Chinese buffet, and this is really a pretty cool looking place. It's a hidden gem in the suburbs of Chicago. I'm having a fog cutter now. It's uh, sour, lemon juice, sweet, a little sweeter than most fog cutters, and tastes a little bit of a ginger beer too. It's pretty good. Hey, and now here we are at stop number three, Halakahiki. The atmosphere in here is really, really cool. They've got a lot of great theming in here. They've got a cool outside <laughs> courtyard, which has got some crazy Halloween decorations in it, which don't quite match. Um, but it's it's still a really cool place. The drinks, on the other hand, eh, kind of average. I had the Singapore Sling. Um, it's got a bit of a cherry flavor to it, kind of strong. A little plasticky, actually, to be honest. So, eh, average drinks, but the atmosphere is really cool. It's still worth checking it out. Our fourth and final stop for the day was the Tiki Terrace. We had dinner and saw their Polynesian review. This place has great food, great drinks, and a really fun show. On Sunday, the tour went to Chef Shangri-La for lunch. I tried their signature drink, Dr. Fong. It was a nice mix of orange juice, sweet, sour, and a hint of almond. And while we dined, Alewife played a great set. After lunch, the Chicago area Tiki Tour drew a close. I want to give a great big mahalo to the Red Palms chapter of the Fraternal Order of Moy. They put on a really awesome Tiki weekend. To read more about the Chicago area Tiki Tour, visit Let's Tiki.com.